Here's another Dawn of War 2 retribution video for the blue team champion of Dawn with Richter Alpha and me Aleander Beta with a play champion. Red side Jerry with a war boss and Tom with a Macbuy. Some may already notice, some not. This is an annihilation game, not a victory point control. So the ultimate goal is to destroy enemy bases. Usually it requires a good amount of time to destroy the base, but um, most of the time one of the team or rather one of the players, some of the players prefer to concede or leave the game once they see they have no chance to win. Doom blast right after his teleport to stop him, so I would he wouldn't be able to escape to escape my heretics. Nectar Alpha for Champion of Dawn is a stealth uh, assassin commander. Kind of fragile commander, but uh, can be upgraded with uh, weapons that makes him tanky. Able to reach the shooter boys with my heretics and doomblast, then forcing me with my CSM. Almost losing my heretics here. They are able to escape. And I'm starting to bash some power. Mac by here is able to is trying to decap our acquisition points. Teleporting commander is effective even while not involved in an uh, engagement since you can use his mobility to, to steal enemy points Warrior Brood and Noise Marines for the blue team. I'm able to take down one Slugas of Tom and I lose a model of my system even behind heavy cover. A little bit unfortunate. As you can see the, the power of the damage over time bolter of my plate champion. Really I think the damage over time bolter is one of the best weapon in the game. Best starting weapon for a commander at least. Warrior Brood armed with uh, the Barbed Strangler. Taking some serious damage from this Lagas and the War Boss, yeah. Lost his Warrior Brood. And he's almost losing this uh, Warmagant Brood. Yeah lost them, so bad engagement for Champion of Thorn. The, 
the warboss with the bang bang hammer can buff pretty well this his luggers. Storm boys for storm. I'm pretty comfortable. I'm pretty comfortable to fight storm boys with chaos. The damage on my play champion is the full time was pretty bad. It's the only plague marine, not tough. At least he needs the fault for him. We're trying to recapture our requisition points around the map. The Mac boy did a very good job. Even if they lost the entire power farm. Tom has plenty of resources to rebuild it. And Jerry's starting to bash our power nodes now. I'm heading towards tier 2 now. And with the shoot an orb now, Yurks will be able to spot the Delictor Alpha. And it does go down. I thought they would put some generators here because they lost this power farm but they didn't so just send my noise mines to take a walk around the map try to reach this power farm but I'm spotted Spying champion for both my system. And double revenants for champion of Thor. Kind of a risky choice to fight uh, for fighting orcs since they are fragile. Champion of Door complaining about me being lazy and not building generators. But I want my resources for something else. And it's a Chaos Dreadnought. As you can see I have no requisition to use for generators or even noding this power node Here's the here you see the impact of revenants which cannot fight among among works ranks they are too fragile for this I think Tyranids should go for double warriors when facing orcs. One for suppressing the shooters and one for helping the horn against the middle. Touch of Nargle to beat the storm boys.
Oh no. I didn't I didn't pay attention to this war bus enough. Thanks to his spiky armor, can breed models of my heretics pretty fast, not only on my CSM. Now Raveners equipped with um, range weapons, the warriors, so they don't have to melee the orcs anymore. A good choice. Stick bombers coming, starting to come out. Coming out for Tom. Um, Champion of, of Torn again, asking for power for generators. But I had little reason to buy them, as you can see, I have plenty of power. And he has enough to buy everything he wants in tier 2, so... Don't understand now his thirst for power. Dodging stick bombers. Here, Jerry with a death grab. Now the Lictor is getting his feeder tendrils. A self uh, heal weapon. Heal the Rictorafa with every strike here, but not with um, while performing special attacks. Special attack even from stick bombers on my kill space mines and tank busters to counter my dreadnoughts. Trying to bash this generator with a single noise man. I'm able to do so but I have to back off now. Champion of Dawn with a Venom Brew. The units were turned to counter vehicles. Also, a good unit to buff um, ranged troops for units since, thanks to their synapse, which they don't have yet, they will buff the damage output of this term against and their resistance as well. It's a kind of uh, the synapse for um, for Tyranid has a, it's a, an ability which reminds a lot the WAG ability for the Orcs, but it's a, it's a passive one, not uh, not an ability you activate. Plague Champion now with the Plague Fist. I'm tier 3 and Tom is going tier 3 as well. 
War boss and Lictor Alpha went down here. Red not almost level two. volley on my troops here. Just lost a couple of heretics but couldn't be could be very worse. Now the orcs are starting to group up. And I am almost completely forced off the field. So I can't help Champion of Thor very much here. I lose my noise marines. Now my plague champion fully upgraded. Able to tank some damage. is fully upgraded. The trophy rack is a very effective accessory able to debuff nearby troops. As you can see it's a, it's a passive debuff so the war boss doesn't need to do anything to cast it on enemy troops. Just be close to them. Chaos Dreadnought level 2 now and Tom getting a squad of knobs Big champion with the fatted armor cannot fight knobs alone, but the fatted armor is very useful for suppressing them. This way, they have to waste their frenzy ability, which they don't have yet. Uh, very bad volley on my kill space marines, and I lose them to knobs in retreat pass. Another volley. Now they are approaching my dreadnought. I got a lucky special attack here. And thanks to my Pestian strike which stuns the knobs, I am able to force them off. 
But it was a very risky play. Rocks. Didn't manage to take any units from the Tyranids with his with his rocks. Now champion of Dawn with two Zoan troops. Mm. He went in tier three, but uh, no tier three units for him yet. I got my great and clean one here. Plague Champion. I used the Passion Strike in order to escape. As you can see the Passion Strike uh, not only protects you from ranged damage but also from stick bombers. So even artillery units cannot penetrate that strike. I got the Mark of Corn for my Kestronaut. Uh, yeah. Mark of Core for my system as well. These are kind of defensive uh, upgrades. I gave them just to kind of to protect them from knobs rather than hit them hard. Orcs blob in the middle against Tyrannus blob, and I cut my Imperial abyss. On Duke's blob, uh, taking down a considerable amount of units from Duke's roster. Yeah, Faustner to finish off these Storm Boys. And Tom lost uh, almost the entirety of his army. Jerry lost some units too. Jerry could use another rocks here. Uh, probably is uh, waiting for the cooldown to recharge. Tyrion is on retreating on the retreat path. Rather a terrain of formation on retreat path, trying to intercept this low knob but didn't manage to hit him actually I don't think it would be able to kill him reviving the Rick again now my plague champion level 8 and I got a another Squad of CSM, already equipped with Mark of Corn. Uh, this one has even the Eternal War upgrade. Squads of knobs now. We are losing a requisition point to the enemy. Kill Strad not level three now. Press the knobs 
in order to make them use their friends but they don't do that and I use blood rage to tank the damage with my dreadnoughts which now is attacking my great and clean one since under blood rage you can't control your dreadnoughts for level 4 oh, and the rocks here it's better than before for sure but doesn't take out any unit, any squad from the tyranny Here my case dreadnought barely surviving the, the engagement with double knobs. Even while uh, even with the blood rage uh, ability to help him. And he's almost uh, level four now. Jerry is switching to Tom's lane to in order to help him. But I'm happy to engage him. As you can see the trophy rack is debuffing even my dreadnoughts. Really a good accessory for the war bus. out of their bases and their structure are starting to be attacked Here's the concession from the red team. Uh, 
We will see the score table now. Here's the score table. Unit score, commander score actually. Unit score. Sources score. And point score. 